Okay, so we're going to talk about altcoins. We talked about diversification, not putting all your eggs in one basket. But go ahead. We were talking about how your brother invests in altcoins. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, my brother, he actually um, he recommended to to me to invest more in like the smaller scale coins. He said that the chances of a smaller and um, like you know maybe coins that you can buy at like pennies on the dollar they will have a higher chance of doubling rather than like Bitcoin isn't going to go from a thousand to two thousand. It's going to, it's, I think he was, his logic was like smaller scale coins would have a higher chance of, uh, or more of a likelihood to double um, or increase. Do you have any thoughts on that? So my opinion is that you need to be educated. I don't know how educated your brother is, but I don't mm -hmm. think you should leave the top 10 until you really actually understand the fundamentals. And what's cool is there's a lot of free information on the internet. So um, mm -hmm. if someone has been watching my channel, I've repeated this all the time, but it's very brave of you. Like I said, like you are very rare. I've never met a girl, <laughs> especially as, as young <laughs> as you are, because you were, were you 24 or 25 when you made the thousand dollars? I think I was, I think I was 20, it was just this past January, so I was 25. Yeah, so mm -hmm. for a 25 year old to put in that large of a crypto investment is really, really rare. But I always caution people, mm -hmm. I always say start small and you should go ahead and invest more money. But what's more important yeah. is educating yourself. And there's so much free information on the internet. And the problem is if you are watching this on YouTube, you get bombarded by ads that are like, buy my crypto investing book or go on this seminar. And to be honest, I mean, you can spend that money, but that money probably should be spent on actually buying the coins. And there's so much free information on the internet that you can basically use. YouTube is a great resource, but uh, there's like websites like uh, Coindesk. And uh, so w what I always recommend is you want to start small. And I think this might lead into our second video. Um, because I want to talk to you about dollar cost averaging. You've probably never heard of dollar cost okay. averaging, right? No. So mm -mm. yeah, I, I will make yeah, another video because literally, and this is kind of sad, but 25% of my YouTube videos, I bring up dollar cost averaging. And I'm always just like, well, if you don't know what it is, Google it. But I'll actually talk about it in our next video. So um, just let's go ahead before we finish this video. Let's continue with your brother. So your brother basically, is he, how much yeah. is he into altcoins? And like, how? Do, what kind of research does he do to pick out these altcoins? So I, yeah. So he's also a huge advocate on research. Like he's like, look things up, read about everything, like go to multiple sources. Um, I think he goes, he has been investing into moon, moon coins, I think. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if that's like a genre, but um, I asked him how much he has right now. And he said he has like 4,000 into, um, into cryptocurrencies right now. Um, I don't know. I know he was just saying the, um, his whole thing is like when you when you're purchasing at smaller scale, then they have a higher chance of, um, of doubling. That was kind of his logic behind it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not sure what, um, I'm not sure exactly what he actually researches though, but he, um, he's generally, um, he generally makes smart choices and he won't like pull the trigger unless he's like a hundred percent, like confident and stuff. Okay. Well, I would um, love to, yeah, I'm not sure if, if possible, I would love to get your brother on this channel too, to maybe talk yeah. about his experience. Do you have any other siblings too? Yeah. Yeah. So I have, um, two other brothers. Um, but I think my, uh, my, one of them is really more into it than the rest of them. Okay. So your other two brothers, are they older mm -hmm. or younger? Um, so one's younger, he's 22 and the older one is 27. And they're both not really into crypto or investing. It's you, the um, middle, the middle kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the middle kids. We have something to prove, I guess. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm a middle child too. Actually, I don't know if oh, I'm, are you? yeah, yeah. I have an older brother and a younger sister guy. So I'm definitely oh, okay. middle child system. So we're going to now talk about dollar cost averaging on the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and then we'll talk about it.